So in this day and age, everyone is made aware of text neck. This idea that we will get neck pain because of leaning forward to look at our mobile phone during the day. But does text neck actually exist? Let's find out. Hey guys, Khaled here. Welcome back to Clinical Physio. So does it actually matter if we spend long periods of the day looking down at our phone? And does this actually lead to neck pain? Let's check out some key pieces of evidence to find out. So first of all, we have Damaseno et al from 2018. They looked at 150 individuals aged 18 to 21. They gave them a very detailed questionnaire asking how much time they spend playing and texting on their mobile phone, details of any visual impairments and any concerns about their body posture. They were also put through a text messaging task where their posture was observed by the physiotherapists and then all that data was collated and analysed. So what were the results? The researchers found there was no association between neck posture and general neck pain and there was also no association between neck posture and the frequency of how often people experience neck pain. Now you might be thinking well, that doesn't really matter. These were 18 to 21 year olds. They're young, they don't get much pain. So is that a factor? But we then have the study from Correa et al 2021 and they looked at individuals aged 18 to 65, so not just young people, and they looked at 582 of them, loads of people. They measured and analysed the angle of each individual's neck whilst using their phone. They found that the cervical flexion angle of the participants did not associate with the prevalence of neck pain. So, how far you lean your neck forward to look at your phone? Again, doesn't really matter. So, we do have clear evidence that just because someone looks down at their phone for long periods of time, it doesn't automatically mean they're going to get neck pain. So instead, what are some of the things that can influence neck pain? Well, first of all, really simple things like a history of smoking, obesity, sedentary lifestyle, high stress levels. We know that these things are all high risk factors for musculoskeletal pain in general. Then we have things that are specifically relative to the neck. Things like neck strength, the strength of the deep neck flexors, the deep neck extensors, how active we are, how healthy we are. Those kind of things are really, really important. Remember, everyone in the world uses a mobile phone, but not everyone in the world has neck pain. So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please support us by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. And also check out our Instagram at Clinical Physio. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Khalid. See you really soon here on Clinical Physio.